On this episode of the Electric Samba Bus, we finally check our custom 18650 module on our Samba. This week has been pretty hectic with other projects, but today I managed to spend a few hours working on the battery. After finishing the first module last week, it's time to charge it. The PowerLab 6 can charge up to 40 amps per hour if you have big enough power source, of course, so it's perfect. To power it, I'm using a computer power supply I've converted into a benchtop supply. The label says it can deliver 27 amps on the 12 volt rails, but after experimenting to see how much I can actually pull out of it, it quits after 14 amps. So setting the power lab to limit its draw to 13 amps at 12 volts, it gives me 34 amps at 4 volts of charge. So at 34 amps per hour, I should be able to charge this module completely in 8.8 .8 hours. Of course, I only have a few hours to work on this today, so I will partially charge it, then do my test and finish charging it later tonight. Next, I will need to make some cables to connect this module to my existing system on the Samba. I want to place the module inside the vehicle in the luggage area so I can have better access to the voltage and temperature monitors. And also, in the unlikely event of a fire, I can easily pull over and extinguish the fire without even having to get out of the car. To connect this module to my system, I found the easiest place in the circuit right after the Hall effect sensor, right before the main contactor. I had to run the cables out through the side gas door and in through the window. That way I didn't have to mess with running cables out the back of the car having to possibly remove bolt-on parts. So here are the cables coming in and I have three uh, six, six gauge cables um, just because they're easier to handle. I think that's how I'm going to do the, the final you know, pack on these cells, on these modules or whatever. Here's a negative side uh, and it's got the quarter of 20 screw there and then another quarter of 20 screw and another one over there. And then it's got this little... So I'm gonna monitor with this guys here. This is temperature, and it's got a little probe that I just put in here and one between the cells. Uh, so this is 20.1 centigrade, and then this one over here, it's the voltage. Um, this is 3.9.2. I charged the cell to about 60%. Uh, that's what the charger said. It was about 60% step charge, which is about what my pack is right now. So if they all decide to die, even though today I'm just doing a simple roll test and, you know, maybe take it up to 20 miles an hour and just see what the load does on this guy. I'm going to put the, put a camera here to record this. Um, the sensors, and then um, I'm going to, yeah, let's see see what happens. So. Unfortunately, today was a very gloomy day here in Rancho, and by the time I finished sorting everything out, it was already dark. So I will only really be able to go around the block as I can feel the rain coming down at any moment. camera back there is recording. Come dry, 50 amps. Oh, my God. 
A few moments after I pulled up into my garage, the rain started coming down. But at least I got my ride around the block. For the very first time, the Samba moved partly being powered by recycled laptop batteries. Tonight was a small step, but as soon as the weather clears, I will finish putting this first module to the test. I want to see just how much it will sag under 650 amp load. I want to see if it heats up after 20 minutes of highway speeds. Unfortunately, all that fun will have to wait. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to catch next week's episode for more electric samba adventures. But next week. lost our wheel right here folks if you enjoy my videos don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and join the conversation down below by leaving a comment uh, if you don't then also leave me a comment so i can make these videos better thank you <laughs>